setting up right now to do some nail art content. I do UGC for several brands. Sometimes I'm tagged, sometimes I'm not. I had to figure out how to make money while I wasn't a licensed nail tech. And due to the fact that I enjoy filming, we're taking pictures, I really get into like editing and stuff. I was introduced to UGC, which means user generated content. So I thought, let me give it a shot. I have all this stuff. I moved in here to basically start my YouTube channel anyway. So in order to pay the bills and get by and get more practice, UGC, I felt was the right fit for me. And I am so happy that I went for it. I am so blessed that people even came to me and offered me these opportunities before I even got started looking, you know? So I was, you know, I, I realized what I was already doing was basically UGC. There are many different ways to do UGC. You don't necessarily have to do nails, aesthetically pleasing videos for products, pictures, etc. So if you're in the creative field or you love doing that stuff, I definitely recommend that you get into that because it's starting to grow really fast. Like the fact that you don't have to grow a following, like a huge following to do UGC takes out the stress of having to grow your audience and like all of that stuff. Most of the time you're not in it. And if you are, it doesn't matter if you're famous or not or whatever the point of UGC is to make whatever product or whatever you're advertising or help market just make it seem more like relatable content there's several things that you can do if you're into maybe like how do I get into that I will definitely do a video just to kind of give you a step by step it really is something that accepts variety there is no like right way to do it you have your look and that's what you go with. And then if you're able to transform your look that can also fit the brand that you're working with, that can also fit their look and just be able to just transform whatever it is you're doing. And just, you know, if, if a brand can come to you and you give them whatever it is they want or need, or that gives you the upper hand in the UGC community. So if you can just, if you just get it, the girls that get it, get it, period. I do like swatches, like I just basically make like product look really pretty for websites and all of that. And I get to play around with nail stuff, which is pretty much what I do for a living anyways. I can do videos for other things as well, but since I'm in the nail industry, why not just work with nail brands in the meantime and then eventually, you know, branch out. But yeah, while I was in nail school, this is what I was doing to pay the bills. And it really helped out, really. <laughs> it really helped. But you can make a hefty income doing UGC for other brands. Your face doesn't even have to be in it. You have to have the eye for it. And you know what it means by having the eye. You'll see videos and you'll compare yours to theirs to like what's out there. And you'll either say, I can do that or, oh fuck, yeah, like, okay. I know what I'm missing and you can work on it and stuff like that. I am always learning. Every day I am inspired by all sorts of stuff. You can do great UGC at home. There's a lot of nail content creators that literally go in their backyard, wait for the right time for the sun to hit, and then just start recording. And then you just play around with your background with a cute little, you know, cotton or linen sheet, or place some little flowers on there, raw objects like wood or stones or, you know, and some dried eucalyptus leaves, fig leaf, whatever. And just make it look real pretty, very aesthetic. I hate that word aesthetic, but it's it's a thing, I guess. <laughs> I'm still trying to find my aesthetic, so I'm just trying to create my own. <laughs> Most of the time, honestly, if I'm not doing nails, I'm editing. Editing takes up so much time. And my husband will be like, what are you doing? Like, I'm just sitting on my ass, but, but I'm, I'm editing, you know? And I do a lot of it on my phone or on my iPad or on my computer. So it's it's either I'm doing nails or I'm editing. And honestly, sometimes, especially in the beginning, even now, I'll be editing for hours, for days, and then look at it and be like, nope, this ain't it, do it again. Which I probably shouldn't, but there comes a time in your career where you're, you have to expect more from you or you're not gonna progress. The UGC is something lucrative for a lot of people and you can make easy 10K months if you want to get with it and get practice and put something under your portfolio, whether you have actual portfolio work with other brands, do your own content with whatever things you have at home. Maybe you bought, 
I don't know, some new eyeshadow or like a new candle or a new uh, Starbucks cup, whatever it may be, draw up some plans on how to market it, how to video it, how to capture it, design your whole look and post it and, and get it out there and email brands that might be interested in your look and in your skill, in your eye for things. So it really helped me out. So today I am here to do a couple nail art videos. And what I do is I grab these press-ons, they're full cover press-ons, Amazon, they're from Amazon. And I'll put some gloves on. I have these dark black ones because I couldn't get white ones in time, but I'm regretting buying them. So I have these other gloves, which I'm still trying to find white gloves that don't turn yellow because the fact that I have to constantly remove my gloves to do content is getting more and more costly. For instance, I just got these. These are all red nail polishes. I'm not gonna have my gloves with stains of nail polish for every video or swatch or whatever. That is not pretty. So that's an expense. So like when you are charging for things like this, people will probably be like, you're crazy. I wouldn't pay that but we are UGC creators also with the skill of doing nails, also with the skill of making a little pe little polish bottle look more than what it really is. That is a skill. So if you ever get anybody think, saying like, that's a lot, just find someone that values your work and your price because there's a lot of money out there being thrown around to people who do less than you. I have these press-ons. I use this right here. This is all on my Amazon storefront from the lights to the background, not the paper roll or maybe. My table is from Ikea. This little thing right here is for my elbow. So this is my trusty dusty stand that I've had for a while now. And I'll use my phone, but I'm using it right now to record this video. So I'll put my phone here and I will just turn this this way, straight down. And I will have it at a focal point that stays focused. And you'll know because the minute you start zooming in to what you're capturing, once you pass 2X, it starts getting grainy. So a lot of people are always asking me, how did you get such beautiful picture? Don't zoom in more than 2X. If you have to get closer, or like in my other video I shared was this macro lens this macro lens you attach to your phone and it gets closer to your it gets very close to what you're capturing so if you can you should it's where i get all of my very pretty aesthetically pleasing super clear shots when i do swatches and all of that i would I would invest in one of these. It's a macro lens. Again, it's on my Amazon storefront. After a while of doing nail art, especially for a brand, for them to use on their website or on their IG or wherever, you want to have clean content at all times. High res, which is high resolution for those that don't know what that means. High resolution, high quality, all the time, very clean as much as you can. If you don't have enough lighting, go outside. I don't care if you have to put a picnic table out there, go outside, get that sun. If it's freezing, put a jacket on. But if you can't get good lighting, you need to go outside. It's no if, ands, or buts. So I would have to go outside to capture my videos and pictures before I was doing content, but that was literally the best time that I got videos was just going outside and capturing what I wanted to capture in natural lighting. Now I have more like higher wattage, bigger lights, like the one over here that you can't see that is just like facing me. This light in particular, which I also have on my Amazon storefront, this one in particular when you're filming just shows the true colors of what you are trying to film. This pink right here is like super hot pink. Most of the time this will look red on camera, but you it's really giving hot pink on here due to the lighting. You'll also notice the white background will turn blue. That's your white balance. You need to get that fixed. I'm just kind of going through like a bunch of different things you need to notice, but I will be making more specific videos on these things, but I just wanna kinda of give you a taste of what the things I'm gonna teach you here on my channel. Also, I will be doing 
in-person, face-to-face group classes for content creators that want to get into nail content, whether you are a DIYer or a nail enthusiast or just want to be on TikTok and do your own nails, whatever that may be, I am doing a course. I want it to be one of those classes that you never have to take anywhere else again. Because I feel like a lot of us are always having to take a class and another class and another class and it's, it's a big investment, but I want my class to be worth it. So I will have all sorts of information here on my Instagram and on my YouTube, but there's just nothing like face-to-face, in-person group classes with me really showing you how to capture your unique look because we all have our own looks. Your face doesn't have to be in front of the camera all the time if you don't want to, but let's say you just don't have an appointment or a whole week of just no clients, like it happens, especially if you're a beginner, but you're really good at taking pictures or you're really good at filming or anything like that. I feel like this is very beneficial for you to at least know in case you wanna have multiple streams of income. I understand some people just wanna do nails and then that's it, but this right here can also teach you how to showcase your brand if you want to start one. You can do so much with all the information that I'm going to give you. It's up to you if you want to listen up or not. <laughs> so uh, I put my phone here. I get my press on right here. I have the little stand thing here, the, you know, the little uh, press on stands. You can get them anywhere. And then I use these rolls here. This roll is from little sticky stuff that you get to make balloon garlands with. I'll share the link below of all the supplies that I used to use and still use to this day to do my content. These could be a little iffy to like take off once you're done with it, but if I'm just doing nail art content, no one's gonna use it, so it really doesn't matter. But I like using the white stand with the clear, you know, just, just so it's not busy. So it doesn't take away from whatever color I may place on the nail. I like to start with like a white base of everything, white background, all of that. But you do you, you do whatever you want, but that's just what I do. So it's nice and clean for like brands and such. But for personal branding, you can customize whatever you want, low exposure, all of that, which is another way I'm going to teach you how to capture your content if that's the look that you want. I can pretty much do all sorts of things, but I can't give you all the information I want. <laughs> just be patient with me. But yeah, so I'll go ahead and film whatever it is I'm doing here. And then what I like to do is use my phone. You can use a DSLR camera, you can use Pan whatever, Sony, Canon, whatever. I have my Canon right here, I don't even use it, but it's sitting right there staring at me. I don't know why. I'm just so comfortable using my phone because I edit on my phone. I edit on my phone, I use InShot, you can use CapCut, there's all these other different apps. It depends on what you want to use. There is no wrong answer. It's just whatever is easiest for you. I learned all sorts of stuff from all sorts of things on YouTube. There are definitely a lot of information on YouTube, not necessarily for doing nail content and like specifically, but I'm here now. And if you're trying to start your own brand, this information is so, so valuable because you want to make sure that that red looks like the red that really is and that that glitter is really giving and then, you know, that your product is looking so beautiful. And so if you have the skill of doing nails and you're just not capturing that correctly, I'm here to help. I'm here to help because I have so many friends online that are so, so darn talented, but for some reason their videos aren't giving and they're just kind of getting swiped away because they're just not showing their beautiful talent in a way that will grasp people's eyes. Like I said, like you can use all sorts of glittery stuff to just kind of like capture everybody's, you know, to capture everybody's attention. But then you have to know like the posts after that may not be as eye-catching as that one. So it, you have to kind of like accept the fact that not everything is gonna have like amazing views, but your consistency on uploading whatever it is you wanna upload, whether it's your nail content, whether it's your nail art or your nail products, with consistency oh, comes great, great success. You gotta put yourself out there in order to bring in whatever it is that you are looking to bring in. So yeah, so you do have to practice and know that if you feel like your content is just not giving right now, don't worry. 
mine is still not giving. My eyes, it's still not giving, but there's a lot of people out there that are still trying and you should too. So yeah, that's pretty much how I do my job. If you could like this video, that'd be great. It lets me know that you want to watch more videos like this and that you're interested. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. I'm always on there. I'm here for you. Anyway, I hope this video was very helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments or DM me on Instagram. I know a lot of you guys are shy because I get a lot more messages on my Instagram DMs than I do here in the comments on YouTube. <laughs> it's okay, it's fine. I would really love your help. And just let me know what you want to learn because I am, a, I am an open book and I would love to help you out. It really does hurt me that people really feel like there are no other ways to make money, but there really is. I'm just here to help you keep your mind open in case there are other things you'd like to try and do in order to help you produce more income because there's nothing like having multiple streams of income. It's a beautiful thing and I want that for everyone. So yeah, so if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and again, comment below if you have any suggestions. Tell me how I'm doing, give me some feedback. It's very, very helpful. So I'll see you on Instagram. If you're not following me already, it is nails underscore by Esther. And if you want to know where I got all these things, a lot of stuff I got on Amazon, okay? So it's on my Amazon storefront. If you're interested in all of that, go ahead and check it out. I share almost everything that I can think of that's great, that I love, that I bought on Amazon, on my Amazon storefront, okay? So yeah, so I hope to see you in my next video and don't be shy. Bye.